we want to make sure that we, we seed the crop as, as shallow as possible, but preferably into moisture, but don't go looking for moisture. If, the, if we come into a dry period of the time, uh, moisture is anywhere lower than say an inch and a half to, to even an inch or more, uh, just be wary about going too deep. Uh, once you seed past that inch and a half in, in most soils, hemp just has a difficult time getting through uh, that amount of soil. Uh, you want to take advantage of, of hemp's ability to germinate very quickly, pop out of the ground and compete with weeds. So we're seeding into a, a, a nice warm soil and, and, and shallow anywhere from a half to three quarters of an inch is sort of what we, we suggest. Um, I'm not sure if we can see, we'll try and pull up just a male plant here from outside kind of broke off, but essentially um, this was seeded at, at about that level too. So we're into into about uh, a half to three quarter of an, of an inch there. No additional in-crop herbicides were used and we do have a fairly good uh, weed suppression just due to the crop being so successful. Uh, we want to seed into warm soils. Anything on the average needs to sort of be 10 degrees Celsius and higher uh, is, is suggested. Uh, again, uh, hemp doesn't like that cool, wet soil. So we can seed this crop because it's a photoperiod sensitive crop, meaning that it'll start to uh, set out its reproductive parts after the days start to get shorter through uh, noticing that the light um, is going backwards essentially and our days are getting shorter. That's what triggers hemp's reproductive cycle. So in saying that, we can actually seed into the, the last couple weeks of May, even into the first couple weeks of June without having an issue of it maturing at the end. Uh, if we talk about a wheat crop, we want to get it in very early, take advantage of that spring moisture uh, because we want to get it harvested sort of either end of August or if we can, end of August, but certainly in the beginning of September. Even if hemp is planted in the middle of May or the second week of June, you're still going to run into a period of time there, depending upon which variety or cultivar it is, the majority would still come into maturity around that September 15th, uh, just because of its photoperiod sensitivity. You could go with anything. We've used air seeders. Uh, we've even broadcast hemp in, in wet conditions. I wouldn't recommend it as the primary way to seed hemp, uh, really just as an emergency. If you just can't get on the field without causing a bunch of compaction, that, that can be and has been successful. Um, but you want to take care of the seed costs are dear. So you want to make sure that you give the seed the best possible chance. So seeding shallow, uh, making sure that your seeder is calibrated uh, properly, uh, maybe release uh, some of the packing pressure uh, if you're coming off seeding a wheat crop. And finally, if you are using an air seeder, one of the best tips is just to make sure that you always check your manifolds to make sure that you aren't cracking hemp in those manifolds because uh, it is, has a very sensitive seed coat, can crack. If you open up a secondary manifold and you see nothing but coffee, what looks like coffee grounds in there, that's your hemp seed that's been smashed. So turn your RPM down, check, check frequently, uh, seeding into uh, that shallow and hopefully into some, some good moisture.